sorry about that. I had to pee. Um, literally, <laughs> she had to have come down while the cleaning people were here. I just, how do people that work at an, at an organization that saves animals, that's literally their, their whatever spiel is save them all. <laughs> How is that possible that I'm sitting here and watching my animals suffer immensely? Immensely. In a building. Like, I can't believe how much I see the whites of my dog's eyes now. That is, that is fear. Constant fear. I, like, they're never out of fear now. Because there's no safety. And they have come to realize that. Like, no matter where we go, you know, I think just like me, for a while, they were like, oh, you know, we'll try this and maybe we'll be safe. But because this bitch shows up everywhere we fucking go and she brings in nasty fucking people wherever we fucking go, like that guy next door in cottage number five at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary last night, they just don't, they, they, they know now that I, there's no safety anywhere. I mean, how, but how, how do you, I don't know. The lady, I, I talked to the cleaning lady today and this is what I mean where it starts to be like, I don't know if it's the drugs in my brain um, or what, but I start to think, are there literally fucking demons on this planet and are they just, everywhere and they work at animal sanctuaries and you know I mean you know that there's going to be people that work here that just it's a, just a job for them it's not like they are in love with animals but for the most part probably people work here because they like animals I would think I mean they're literally pelting stuff at that sliding glass door behind those curtains and yards away are a bunch of rescue horses so that toxin, is, it's in the air, and it's in now this cottage, which that will stay in here. I mean, it will be on the walls, it will be on the floors, and they can clean as much as they want. It's not going to get off everything. It's going to be soaked into the fabric of the couch, of the chair. Like, they can't get it out. You know, the bedding, like, especially because I've got the pillows all over the vents. It'll be soaked into the pillows. They can't. They can't possibly, and there's someone supposedly staying here in this cottage tomorrow night. She's probably up in the attic. Probably. And she's probably diverting the heat to go to her. Or she's next door. And that was interesting. I was thinking I should just walk over there because since there's nobody staying there, that door should be open. Because they leave all the doors open, and which sucked because they were like, oh, you go stay in cottage one. And I'm like, oh, how do I get in? Where are the keys? Oh, they're just open and the keys are in there. I'm like, first of all, you're telling me that over the phone. Not that they probably already didn't know that from somebody else that works here. So they're going to be already have gone in there, which is exactly what they did. And every, you know, the fridge didn't work. And like, I mean, in the the phone thing was blinking. They obviously had been messing with the electrical and doing whatever they needed to do to set up their shit. <sighs> Trust me on how I know this, how this sounds. I mean, what the fuck? Like, I, I can't explain how, like, someone commented on this is that you should call the police. This is horrific. I have. And the police in Forest Grove... And the police, there's a police officer in Forest Grove and a police officer in Tillamook that seemed interested. I don't know. Maybe they went and talked to some of these addicts. Maybe they got a real vibe that these people are full of shit. Um, you know. So they're going to try to do stuff while I'm talking because it covers the noise. Um, but the feds fucking know. There is no way, there's no way that I can move. This is Hawaii, California, Oregon, Washington, Boise, Idaho, and now Utah. 
That's six different states. There is no fucking way that the feds wouldn't know. There's too much communicating. There's too much, you know, <laughs> it, it's just too much. There's no way. So I've come, come I mean, they're obviously not going to help me. Um, that's become apparent that they have no interest in helping me and ending this. Um, they probably took the evidence of my cat's necropsy and examined it. The guy was super excited to get my cat, which was a little weird. Again, since the cat was 20 and most people would just be like, oh, God, why this is so stupid. But he was like, like grabbing kitty and like before I, and then looked back at me when I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> cause and then he's like, oh, I mean, you know, and I'm like, well, yeah, but <laughs> like, like, why are you like, ah, chomping at the bit to get at my dead 20 year old cat? You know, it was just weird. And this is horrific and this is happening all of this is fucking real it's crazy and the drugs are definitely you know fucking with my head and I, I, it's like I hate to say certain things because then I know that then they know and they're like yay exciting but this is reality like they've had to up it and up it and up it and it's making my animals sicker and sicker and sicker and I'm watching them twitch and do this and that and I take them to the vet and oh all their blood work is fine you know these are a couple things I'm guessing when I go to the emergency room they call ahead they make sure that my blood tests say I have no diseases I'm sure that I do um right now my asshole is ripped like there's sharp pain going all the way up the crack um, and that probably happened from the guy that stayed in the best friend's animal sanctuary cabin, co cottage number five, right next door to me last night. Um, and it's because she's not giving like my body any chance to heal at all. And the repeated trauma. And so they have this level of confidence. Like even though this finger is clearly disfigured, clearly there's a huge lump coming out right here. Clearly. Somehow when I had it x-rayed, he's like, oh, that, that, there's nothing wrong with your hand. I'm like, you can see it. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't just say, like, there's nothing there when you can fucking see it. It's like, you know, there's certain things you can say, like, oh, I'm faking with the range of motion for my arm. Like, literally my arm is shooting pain now from holding this. That's, that's how bad this is with this arm and I mean I'm kind of sure that there must be torn ripped ligaments in there that you could probably figure out see something like that um but there's I mean the amount of damage that she's done to my anus my vagina and my body the amount of hair she's cut off on my head I mean all of this is evidence but they're so confident that no matter what happens that none of this will be brought to light. So I can't help but think that they know and that I probably have gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, who knows, HIV. I mean, I'm guessing a lot of the irritation on my asshole came from that really disgusting, unclean, mentally ill, sort of homeless person staying in the Forest Grove uh, Hotel, which I specifically told the police to talk to him because he obviously was not mentally well, so, and I, from the, from the body language and everything and the fact that he was a drug addict and everything led me to believe, and plus I was gang raped there, that he participated in that. So I told him to talk to him specifically because he would be one of those people that if you talk to him, he would have a hard time faking the funk. And, you know, maybe that's why they're interested. Maybe they did talk to him. Maybe it was because when they called the hotel, they said that I had never even stayed there. Um, so I quickly emailed the receipts to them that I got from the Best Western. Um, and then he said, oh, well, I think I just got the dates wrong. And I'm thinking, no, they're making you think that. Because we just, you were very clear. I was very clear. But... They really do fuck with people's heads. Anyhow, I'm here at the animal sanctuary. Um, and there's stuff that has been pelted straight at the door. There is a light on. 
over there. There's a light on over there. In order for things to hit this door, it would have to come from anywhere there. I find that weird. It's freezing cold, there's snow out there. I don't know if you can see, and I'm trying to keep the door open to get fresh air, and it is cold as fuck right there. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> but anyhow, the feds know. The feds fucking know. There's just no way, which I'm gonna tell you for people and share, share, share these videos because have the realization as an American citizen that this is what I'm thinking. And who knows if this is drug induced. And I really would love to be drug free at some point with since I'm not choosing to be on any drugs. Um may you notice my lips. I'm guessing somebody did something. This feels like the beginning of possibly herpes all over my lips. We'll see. I'll document that because if that happens, yet another sexually tra transmitted disease. I mean something's wrong. You know, um, why they would need to put their asshole on my face, who knows. Um, maybe the feds are do not doing anything because they already know what this stuff is. Maybe they've used it on people. Maybe they want to use it on people. Maybe they, for, and I've, I've said this since a while now, is that it is much more beneficial for the Federal Bureau of Investigations, the U.S. government, to sit back and watch what is happening in this circumstance than to do anything. They can see how they network. They can see how they, you know, who they contact, how they contact, like how they would be able to get me to test positive, negative for all STDs when I po probably have STDs, um, how, you know, just... So there's that, you know, how the Hells Angels, the cartel, the Hawaiian syndicate all work together. And, you know, drug traffic, sex trafficking, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they're sex trafficking me. So um, I, I, I've met old men in hotel rooms the next morning that are obviously they, they rape me, um, which is... <sighs> so, um, and this happens. Like, literally research this shit. That people get drugged and sex trafficked all the time. So for people to be like, you're crazy, this isn't happening. Actually, it does happen. It happens more more, more often than people would probably like to know. Um, in my circumstance, having the kind of financial backing that I have, it's only because they've been able to cut off. I mean, I've literally contacted ex-Blackwater guys. Um, ex, you know, I mean, I contacted a guy, priority one dog protection and, and was ready to drop down 170 K on two dogs the next day. I mean, he, the guy's looking at, at pocketing almost 200 grand and he walked on it. He walked on it and didn't even call me back. And when I, and when I called him on a different phone with a different number, he answered and because he wasn't responding to my texts or my emails or my phone calls. And then he was like, oh, uh, well, yeah, I'll call you right back. And, you know, we're leaving town. Le sends me an email. We're leaving town. We're going traveling out of the country. You know, here's this guy's number. I call him CNC dog protection, something like that. And we're talking and he's like, this doesn't make sense. Why would he, you know, walk away from this? I'm like, you fucking, I, you know. My only guess is that they contacted him, you know, and he's like, oh, I, I bet he just got scared. But then he walked on me, too, after a short phone conversation. He's like, yeah, I'm in Canada. My dogs are in Canada. I can't get them to you. And I'm thinking, really? It says nothing like that on your website. It says you have three locations in the United States. It just, they've cut off every ability for me to get any sort of help from anybody. I mean, it's... It's sad for society that people who rape children for money, people who kill hundreds of thousands of people a year in the United States alone from drug overdoses, which make them murderers, um, and the women and children that are, you know, sex trafficked, I mean, just all the people that die in association with those things. 
they're able to do all this stuff to someone who was never involved with them, never... I mean, it's... You should be fucking afraid. And the fact that the feds know about this and are doing nothing... Because there's just no fucking way. There's just no fucking way. And they just have chosen to not do anything, apparently. Um, and... I rack my head when I have my two marbles rolling around when I'm not so drugged, which it's getting to the point they're drugging me so much that in the morning time I'm just so fucking out of it and I'm like, you know, and the dogs are out of it and we're just like stumbling around through the day, you know? And, I mean... <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. You tell me. Are the feds... Um, like, look at my eyes now. It's coated. I can feel it. Are the feds not doing anything because they use this drug on other people? They've used this drug. They want to use this drug. They want to have the ability to use this drug, so they don't want this drug to be talked about, known. They've already known that it exists. Um, they want to see how it's applied. They want to see what it does to me, what it does to my animals. They want to be able to study it so they can use it. I mean, fuck if I know. You know, all I know is, I mean, you, can you really trust any government in the world? Of course not. We all know that. We all see them, how fucking crooked they are. And, I mean, the U.S. government has poisoned their own soldiers soldiers before. They poison other people. I mean, is it, far, <laughs> is it a far-fetched idea? Probably not. But it's a very sad conclusion to come to because that literally means there's no help. And, you know... I'm to the point where I'm going to give away my dogs, hope that they live, and hopefully someone will take them that will help them, um, and I'm going to kill myself because I'm not going to live my life being raped, sodomized, and tortured for the rest of my fucking life. No. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. And I'm not going to give the feds the evidence and proof so they can then use my body as research. Because, honestly, at this point, what's the difference between the feds and the sex traffickers and the drug traffickers? What's the difference between the U.S. government and these people? I don't see one. Because if they're sitting here and watching this and watching this as an experiment on me, that's the same thing they're doing. So, you know, maybe these people are getting psychological pleasure out of it that maybe the government is not, but they are doing it for a different reason. I mean, and... I don't care how this sounds. It makes the most sense to me because they know and, you know, I off myself. They're going to they're gonna want to get a hold of my body just as if they were so excited about getting a hold of Kitty's body, you know. And I'm guessing that they're going to tell me that Kitty just died of old age. And I'm, I'm you know, it's really interesting because I'm kind of putting off getting in contact with them and getting the report and everything because... If I get the report and they say, oh, you know, it was just this and there was no evidence of anything else or, you know, whatever, whatever, I'll know. I'll know that the government has no plans or intentions to help me whatsoever um, and that they'll let me die and they're probably hoping at some point I just commit suicide and so that then they can cut open my body and my brain and my eyeballs and see what everything has done so they can because I mean what study out there does show what inhaling anesthetic for two years straight does none there are no studies because people don't do that <laughs> so but I'm not going to let them get that satisfaction so unless I can find a doctor who's willing to prove what I'm saying is true, which is examining my uterus, which she has repeatedly tortured, um, my hair, I mean, just everything, my eyeballs, like, and expose what's happened here, which, needle in a haystack, who knows, um, then, no, I'm not letting anybody get advantageous over my dead body, you know, with my dead body. <laughs> I'm not. Fuck them. Fuck the U.S. government. Fuck you. Fuck the feds. I have been emailing Alex. I can't remember his last name now. 
that I've known since I was a child. I've been emailing him. He's a federal agent. I've known him since I was a child. He's a family friend. And I've been emailing him constantly, along with the federal prosecutor's office in Honolulu, Hawaii, telling them every st single step of the way. So they fucking know this shit. And they've sat there and watched my fucking animal die, my kitty fucking die. And I'll tell you this, kitty's life is worth more than fucking yours. Because he was a better being than you. He didn't exist on this planet to fucking be advantageous or anything. He was a fucking amazing creature and you fucked him over by letting him fucking die. And now you're letting my fucking animal suffer. And you're letting me suffer. You're letting me get raped, sodomized, and tortured every fucking day. I'm a fucking U.S. citizen. I have rights. So. So fuck the U.S. government. Fuck you. I hope you all fucking die. I hope this shit comes. And this is what I said in the email, this last email. I told them to go fuck themselves. And I also said, if you let these fucking animals suffer anymore, I guarantee you upon my death, if it works this way, which I don't know, I'm going to haunt you every fucking day until the day you die. I'm going to be in your closet rattling shit around. I'm going to make your fucking life miserable. You better fucking believe that because this is what you did to me. You let me fucking suffer like this. Are you fucking nuts? And un unnecessarily, unnecessarily, you could have gotten the evidence and proof and everything, you know. At some point, I'll die, you know. You, it, this didn't need to happen like this at all. They didn't need to do it like this. And the only reason I can think is because they want to be able to use this because it is pretty extraordinary being able to gas someone inside of any environment within minutes, you know. It's pretty extraordinary. Hotel, house, apartment, vehicle. It's, it's pretty extraordinary. So I'm guessing that they, they're loving this shit. Maybe they'll give this rapist bitch a fucking prize. Who knows? Out.